we're, uh, we're getting close to finish now. Uh, this is the, the spline that uh, I've already made. Um, I've got a step inside the, uh, the crown well. The crown well that was, was thin here, so um, I stepped that down. I didn't want to take so much meat out, so I've got a nice little step in there. Um, got a nice little lead in on it, so it should, uh, should go in, hopefully. I'm going to um, uh, put this in the freezer, this little piece, and then uh, uh, heat, heat this up and hopefully we'll be able to bang it straight in without using the press. Um, I've got uh, on the outer part here, on the wider part, I've got 0.1 of a mil interference and on the thinner part I've got a 0.06 uh, interference there, so it's going to go close. Um, but yeah, maybe not, maybe what, we'll have to press it in. So, uh, this, uh, the spline uh, fits quite nicely. I just wonder, we've got very little play, and I just uh, wonder how much this will streak when, uh, when this, this goes in. It'll uh, maybe squash that in a little bit and be tight on the spline. If it does, if all, if all else fails, I'll, uh, I'll cut, cut the spline again on, on, on the lathe and um, yeah, hopefully I won't have to. Maybe a little bit of filing or something might, uh, might help. But yeah, we'll get this in the freezer and um, give that one a heat and go from there. Too tight. Too bloody tight. <laughs> Okay. No, not home. Bit too tight. Didn't get it hot enough. We'll have to press it in now. We'll have to heat it up and press it in. Oh well. I thought it would be close, but uh, we, we do weren't really want it tight. Okay, I'll have to uh, let that cool off overnight and press it in tomorrow.
you know what? She's, uh, she's going home. I, uh, I was a little worried about it when I was hitting her with a hammer. That uh, the hammer's quite uh, quite strong and when you each individual one is quite high. But it uh, didn't quite go in enough and you know, the part heated up as it was going down and, uh, and um, sort of expanded back out to what it was. So I got point, point 0.1 of a, of a mil um, uh, uh, interference fit, so that's quite a lot um, for, for a part that size. Anyway, she's going home. Um, I've still got, you might be able to see a lip up the top there. I haven't, I made it longer than it was. So I'll just put that in the lathe and that cools off and, and just uh, uh, machine that off and uh, I'll work out what we're going to do to see if I can drill the sides, but I don't think I, I will be able to. It's um, very hard steel. Uh, so, and, and, and the part on the, on the inside, the, the spline is a softer steel, so you'd be drilling on a, a soft steel and a hard steel, and I think it'll just go into the soft steel, just move, drill across. But uh, when I was hammering out there, that, it's still quite hard, about 4140 when it gets this spline, and I was just using a piece of mild steel to hit on it, and um, so it might have looked a bit violent, it looked like you'd spread it over, but uh, it never was going to. And it didn't, it, uh, when it killed off, I fitted the part on. Still fits. Um, whether it still fits now or not, I don't know. But uh, it, it, it was a little tighter. Um, but, uh, but we allowed for that. Anyway, so uh, we just got to spin that off. And, and uh, well, maybe I'll run a little bit of weld in there too. But a bit of weld all uh, might be enough to just sort of tack it in a couple of places. We'd like to weld it all the way around. Um, you'll get... get the well, I'd have to use a welding rod, and uh, I, I, I don't have a TIG, so you might end up with the weld in part of the spline, so, and that'd be a hell of a job to file all that out again. I, I don't think I really want to do that, but in a couple of places, if it went into the spline, um, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay. Well, I've got the job done. Um, yeah, the piece that was sticking out, I machined it back and flushed, so it's come up, come up quite nice. And uh, the original idea was to drill and tap, tap it, and uh, and lock tight some threads in there. It's called a Scotch key, but uh, there's no way. That's way too hard. There's no way I could uh, tap that. I just got it drilled. Uh, so I've drilled on the join where the two pieces go, and I've, I've hammered in um, uh, roll pins and lock tighted them in as well. And uh, when I was doing it, I, uh, the center drill, I broke a center drill off. Um, I was going pretty steady, I slowed the uh, speed right down and uh, I was going pretty steady, so uh, yeah, it still caught and, and um, broke off. So that's why I elected to only do the two of them then. But yeah, it fits on nicely. Just needs a little bit of a tap to go on the the whole way. and uh, I think there's, there's, there's no play at that stage but we out a little bit we've got just a tiny little bit of play so it's uh, really good so uh, job done delivered to the customer so pretty happy with that I don't think we're going to have any trouble with that it won't spin of course but uh, um, I think the spline's so uh, good enough it's uh, a new spline onto a really old worn out one. I'll put some pictures up of the old spline, I've got some close-ups. So, uh